Hello everybody and welcome to the second installment of my new series, Hashtag Signature Sunday. Now, this is where I will be sharing my uh, signed books. I'll be doing uh, only five this week. I've got uh, just enough security here to protect just five books. So uh, what this is basically is on, uh, on various social media, uh, Twitter, Facebook, others, uh, there will be uh, there are people who will share uh, signed books and other signed items as well, but most, most importantly, signed comic books using the hashtag uh, Signature Sunday. So I've done that a couple of times, but I decided you know it might be more fun to uh, make a video out of this, a video series out of this, and uh, that's that's also gives me a chance to have more videos on my Facebook page or my YouTube channel. Sorry, and so I figured let's uh, yeah let's let's do this, see how it goes. Last week was a lot of fun, so we're gonna do five more this week, starting with. Leatherface from North Star Comics. This is the first of a, of a four-issue miniseries that adapted Leatherface, Texas Chainsaw Massacre 3. I got this signed at Motor City Comic Con about two or three years ago uh, by uh, cover artist Dave Dorman and penciler Jason Moore. Uh, and got a really interesting story to both of them. You know, uh, Dorman was telling me how he uh, he really does like this piece that he did, but Doing horror stuff really isn't uh, is, isn't what he's known for. It really doesn't it isn't what he does a lot of. But he really liked doing this one. This is one of my favorite um, uh, horror covers, anyway. And uh, Jason Moore was explaining how you know the series started off great, but the problem was, and, and this is the problem that I had with it as well, is as the series progressed, you got different artists, and it seemed like different writers, and it, the the whole thing fell apart starting with issue two. But the first issue is pretty pretty solid adaptation of the movie. Uh, but the cover is one of my favorite covers that I have in my entire collection, and now I have it signed by Dorman and more. And kind of considering sending this one in to get it uh, get it uh, graded. So don't know what I'm gonna really what I'm gonna do with it, but uh, getting it graded is definitely on the table. So next up, oh, and these aren't uh, I, I don't remember what order I put these in. So uh, we're gonna be just I'll be, I'll be just as surprised as to what the next one is as as you guys are gonna be. So this one is. Lobo, uh, this is the last Zarnian miniseries, his first solo miniseries, signed by um, Simon Bisley and Keith Giffen. And, hey, you know what? It's Lobo, it's Biz, it's Giff. And this was uh, pre-PC Lobo, pre-Twy Lobo, or whatever the heck that mess was that came out during the New 52. Uh, this is the Lobo that uh, kills his ki kids and, and enjoyed every single minute of it. This is the Lobo that I miss, and this is the Lobo that I wish we could have back again because he he was he was a smoker, loved his cigars, loved his beer, loved his fighting, loved his blood and guts and gore and all that fun stuff. So, uh, if you're looking for uh, a, a good, I guess you could say balls to the wall Lobo story, this would be it. It's a lot of fun, and uh, yeah, this one is signed. I'm I'm thinking if I could get Alan Grant to sign this book, I'll definitely sign this one and get it graded. But as it is. I, I love it, and this this actually was the issue that I bought way back in what uh, late nineteen ninety when it came out. Uh, this is my introduction. This is the first DC book I ever bought too. Um, Lobo, it's a lot of fun. New Avengers number one, signed by Brian Michael Bendis. Uh, this one I got signed to the show, but uh, my my I guess my interesting Bendis story was uh, uh, over a decade ago. I lived out in Portland, Oregon. I worked in a place called Suncoast. We uh, Sold uh, DVDs, uh, Blu-rays, you know, collectible nonsense, and uh, we had this this membership card called the Backstage Pass that gave you discounts or whatever it was. And uh, I remember being there one day. I was doing whatever I was doing, and uh, this customer came up, and uh, my coworker asked the asked the customer. I wasn't even paying attention. Asked the customer, you know, do you have the Backstage Pass? He goes, yes, but I don't have it with me. Well, we can look it up by your last name and the gentleman said and this is where I more my ears perked up he said you know my last name is Bendis and then my employee says his uh, first name Brian and I looked up and there was Mr. Brian Michael Bendis standing at my counter at my store and I'm always of the mind that when I see these guys outside of a convention I'm not going to geek out reason being these guys they're they're not if they're not at the show they're they're just they're they're living their lives. So you know, instead of geeking out, instead of you know going all crazy about, it, I was like, hey, you know, Brian Bendis. You know, as as if as in, at the time he was writing just pretty much everything. So that's what I said. You know, the guy who writes everything at Marvel. He goes, yeah. And all I did was, and it took some restraint, was I just you know I shook his hand and I said, you know, hey, thank you, thank you for everything you that uh, that you've done. And you know, it 
it was his writing on this series that uh, that got me into reading more Avengers book. It actually got me into Luke Cage. His depiction of Luke Cage is one of my favorites. So since he wasn't at the show, I just said thank you and shook his hand and, and let him go on his way. Um, oh, another guy who used to come into my store pretty regularly was Greg Rucka. He was, he was kind of cool. Uh, next up, check this out, Deadpool. Um, what issue is this? Issue 12. Um, this was... Um, the story behind this one, if I remember, it was uh, uh, the the month before this came out. DC had a whole series of covers, like all their covers were basically uh, face shots of all of their characters. So Marvel using Deadpool to have fun, they decided to do their version of it. Said, "Hey, look, my head." Uh, this one I wound up getting signed years ago. I don't remember where. It was probably probably a Motor City Comic Con, uh, signed by Joe Kelly, who was writing the series at the time. Um, and that's pretty much it. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's it's definitely one of my favorite covers. Uh, I'm glad I got it signed. And last up this week is The Atomics by Michael Allred. Uh, the Atomics, one of my favorite books. I, I, this is a criminally short-run series. Some great characters, some great art. Uh, this, really, this series really introduced me to Mike Allred's art and really got me uh, to really appreciate it. Uh, I think his wife, Laura, does, uh, does coloring on, on these books and just... Everything about it, it, it felt like an old school Marvel comic, from the story style to the characterization to the art, even the coloring. I mean, everything just felt so just nice and old school, and I really liked it. In particular, It Girl. She became my absolute favorite character this entire series, and and as luck would have it, she she was the most popular one, so she got her own book. And I think I have an It Girl book signed as well, so maybe I'll share that in a future week. But this one I got signed when I was out in Portland, Oregon. They had a small show there, and I caught uh, uh, Mr. Allred and his wife as they were getting ready to leave for, um, I think it was for for a panel. And uh, you know, I just I, I got there just as he was leaving. He uh, you know he's like, did well, you wanted something signed? I said, yeah. I said, but I can wait till after you're after you're done doing what you're doing. And he said, well, what do you want to have signed? I said showed him this one here and I said this I love this book and this is my favorite cover she's my favorite character that you've done in the series and you know he agreed that you know this is one of his favorite covers and he liked uh, he likes the characters well he said you know what let me just sign this for you before I go so I was able to sign it he was a super nice guy uh definitely a great experience and uh you know if, if you get a chance to meet uh Michael already at the show he's, he's definitely somebody that uh he's truly a good guy he's one of the good ones so those are my uh, my signed books for this week again hashtag signature sunday um feel free to like comment um share subscribe and uh do if, if you're a, if you're a youtuber as well feel free i mean this this is this is not an idea that i'm saying this is my idea and only i can do this because these are my videos no i would love to see more videos like this. I like to see this become a regular YouTube thing. So, you know, if, if you've got signed books, go ahead and, and, and share them. You know, let's do some more videos. Let's get some more signed books uh, out there to share for the masses. Uh, so, again, thanks a lot for uh, for checking this out. Uh, we'll see you next Sunday for another hashtag Signature Sunday. Uh, we'll see you this, um, uh, and we'll see you this coming Thursday with another weekly haul video. Have a good week.